and Betsy of As We Go. And we invite you to come along with us as we walk the decks at Tall Ships Galveston. Oh, wait a second, stop, rewind. That's right, because we didn't actually get to walk the decks with these two boats. The links and the when and if were only available to people who had purchased day sale tickets. And yet that wasn't us. But we did get some wonderful pictures of them and some footage and we hope you enjoy that. We're out at the day of sale, or the parade of sale I should say. And this is the little when and if. Look at her size comparison to the Oliver Hazard Perry and how differently these two vessels take the waves and the wind. Oh my goodness. I hope those folks had some rain gear on. I bet some of them got wet. And this is the Lynx out at the Parade of Sail. You can see he's doing some pretty good bobbing around too. Between the Lynx and the when and if, I wonder if some folks needed some uh, seasick pills out there, along with their rain gear. Well, this is the Lynx, and it was built in 2001. It's sort of a replica reproduction, I guess you would say. But it's based on the historic tall ship, the Lynx, that was actually in the War of 1812. And it's an, considered an American privateer. In fact, it is Amer officially America's privateer. And since she was only booked for day sales, which of course we didn't do, we did take the water taxi over to where she was docked and we were fortunate enough to catch her raising sail as she set out on one of her day sail trips. I did speed this up just a little bit, otherwise you'd have been here for five minutes watching that sail go up. It was really neat to be uh, standing on that balcony we found and see her come down the harbor here at Galveston. This is through the rigging of the Oosterschilde. But my favorite memory of her is gonna be from that balcony, looking through the rigging of the Alyssa. And you see the Lynx sails full, the flag flying, and behind her is coming this huge cruise liner. And as for the when and if, her story is just a little bit different. She was built in the late 1930s for General Hatton. Yeah, she made a pretty good cork out there at Parade of Sail. Her name uh, came from a statement that General Patton said. When the ship was being designed, his goal was that when this war is over and if I survive, B and I are going to sail around the world. And that's what uh, when and if was designed for, not just to be a comfortable cruising yacht, but a yacht that could do sport racing as well. We're lucky to catch her out on the water under full sail while we were out on that free water taxi. It was such a great bonus round. But each ship I have my favorite view of. It was fun catching it from the stern this way with that cruiser. But my favorite moment is when we were walking the decks of the Picton Castle and I looked through the rigging and there she was. Thanks for coming with us as we did this little uh, brief peek at the Lynx and the Win and F, just a couple of beautiful American classics, I guess you could call them. Hey, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do give us a favor. Give us that great big thumbs up. We're so glad you came along and that you watched. And do us a huge favor. Help us grow our channel by hitting that subscribe button. 
And if you want to make sure you're among the first of your friends to know when a new video is up, make sure you click the notification bell as well. Thanks again for watching. Take care of yourself. And maybe someday we'll see you on the road.